We have been going today to the offices of the sponsor and then the 10 Democrats of a bill 7256 that we find deplorable because it calls on the U.S. to reassess its relationship with South Africa because South Africa has, among other things, brought cases against Israel in the International Criminal Court and the International Court of Justice. Well, we've been in the office of Jerry Connolly before, and uh, we thought he was actually moving on some of these issues. Yet, we saw recently that he put his name on a bill, H.R. 7256, that asked for a reassessment of U.S. relations with South Africa, uh, in large part because of South, South Africa trying to hold Israel accountable for what it's doing in Gaza. And we find that absolutely deplorable. Uh, part of that bill says that um, the South Africans have delivered anti-Semitic and anti-Israel related statements. And including in that assessment is that they filed a, quote, politically motivated lawsuit in the International Court of Justice, wrongfully accusing Israel of committing genocide. And it is the sense of Congress, this bill says, that the South Africa's foreign policies have long ceased to reflect a sense of non-alignment and therefore undermine U.S. national security and foreign policy interests. Mm -hmm. So we find that absolutely deplorable. Yeah. And we also want to talk about the close ties that South Africa has had with Palestine over the years. South Africa has really strong ties to Palestine, and Israel even provided weapon systems to South Africa's apartheid government and maintained secret military ties up until the mid-1980s. Very shameful. And the South African people have had deep ties to the Palestinian cause as well. After South Africa's apartheid system was dismantled and Mandela was elected president in 1994, he said, we know too well that our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of the Palestinians. And if I can just add, um, Mandela and the South African leaders after him compared the restrictions placed on Palestinians to in Gaza and the West Bank to that of the treatment of uh, black South Africans during apartheid. Bringing its case against Israel to the International Criminal Court, South Africa's ambassador to the Netherlands said, we as South Africans sense, see, hear, and feel to our core the in inhumane discriminatory policies and practices of the Israeli regime as an even more extreme form of the apartheid that was institutionalized against black people in my country. This is why South Africa felt obligated to bring Israel to the war court.